Hello, my friends, and welcome. Welcome back to another session with the older man. Today, I'm going to talk to the ladies. Well, I'm not going to really talk to you guys. I realized a long time ago that information coming from men, real men, any woman who wants to make a change, who's caught in the whole feminist bubble, they're going to have a harder time observing the message from a man. So I love, I absolutely love the women who have discovered the truth and are willing to come out and tell other women that they're screwing up and feminism have screwed them over, I want to highlight those women. I have another lady today who has joined the fight trying to get these women to wake up because she's on the inside. She sees the destruction and she's trying to warn these ladies. So I would love to introduce you guys to Miss Brianne Giselle. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as the sisterhood. There never was. Women choose and select when they want to be on women's side. In all reality, women do not like each other. We just don't. And I just want to say we as a collective, because I am a woman, but I don't really like to see myself this way. Um, I don't intentionally dislike women. I feel like life kind of programs to have you. I dislike how a lot of women behave. I found her online this morning and I think her soft tone, her soft demeanor and her message resonates with a lot of people. She's not ratchet. She's not <laughs> aggressive. She's just telling you like it is, ladies. And I would really recommend that you listen to her. And she had this post titled, Women are self-destructing in America. It's getting ugly. Yeah. Now I knew, Mr. Kevin Samuels knew, all of these red pillars knew absolutely 100% it was going to get rough. Mr. Samuels had an expression, winter is coming. I can tell you without a doubt, my friends, winter is here. Because a lot of women are suffering. And listen. It's not like men aren't suffering. We are all suffering in the Western Hemisphere because, because the rich just keeps getting richer and richer. There's no middle class. And literally, most people are one paycheck from going bankrupt. Definitely, definitely. You know, you're, you're one, one paycheck away. Doesn't matter who you are, you are one paycheck away from being out here. Don't ever take for granted anything that you have because you're literally $100, $200 away from being out here with the rest of us. Most people cannot recover for one minor accident right now. Most people in the West can't even go to the freaking hospital. I'm talking about America because in the UK, hey, free healthcare, right? All right you pay a lot of taxes, but you get at least you get you get reasonable health care. But most people in America are one sickness, one illness away from going bankrupt. Tell me I'm wrong. And so I've always identified this. So that's what we want to get into. All right. So guys, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on this video on the way in. You know, I always love to ask that. Book a session with me if you want to support the channel. I'm doing this full time now, guys. So, hey, you got me 100%. I'm going to start putting out more and more videos. Try to educate you guys as best as I can. There will be a variety of subjects. I did one on helping young men coming out of university yesterday. Go and watch that video. If you have a child, if you have a young man or a young woman, they have to understand what they're getting themselves into as they hit real world. Check that video out. I'll show it right here. Now, guys, listen, a lot of you ladies think that I'm harsh on you. all. If any of you ever had a father, most of you have not. Fathers don't teach you by being nice. Your father isn't your friend. He's a father. That means discipline, structure, all of the things that you really don't like. It is essential for you to get through life. And you only realize it when you're in trouble that what your father had taught you came in handy. But unfortunately, most people never experience that. But we're going to get further into that as this lady explained the problems that we're in right now. Okay, let's hear what she has to say. Being triggered is your thing. Please exit out right now because I promise you, you are not going to like me today. If you don't want to hear the truth, if you don't want to be honest, I promise you, you are not going to want to hear me today. This is not the video for you. So if you are sensitive, please click off. I'm going to tell us 
sisters. I'm going to tell us women. I'm going to tell all of us. You know what's, sorry, I got to pause it right there for a second. But you know what's so bizarre that most of you will find normal? Is that she had to give you a freaking trigger warning before she moved into what she's going to tell you. That's how sensitive and bizarrely childlike most of you are. You all don't want to hear anything that goes against the narrative that you've been pumped. You have been the BS that has been pumped into you is so deeply ingrained that if you hear anything else that is contrary to that message, you're going to get triggered. This woman has to warn other women that you're going to get triggered. Do you realize how bizarre that sounds? That is absolutely asinine. Anyway, let's get into it. All of this is all of our fault. We are self-destructing and we are crumbling right before our very eyes and it is hilarious. It's hilarious to someone like me because I've been trying to warn about this for so long, way before I got on YouTube. If you know me from other platforms, you know I have not been a shy when it comes to this. But we have self-destructed in front of our entire eyes and it's quite hilarious at this point. And it's women of all races, all creeds, all ages, but especially us older women us women over 30 it is hilarious at this point watching everyone cry on the internet about how hard life is and how our finances and how oh now women are actually looking for a man to go 50 50 because life is so hard doing it alone which i've been trying to say i do not mind who you are or what a man is making Whatever he makes, it is more than what is currently in your household. <laughs> I, I want to try to break it down like this for you, ladies. If I took every single dime that you're making right now, let's just say for argument's sake, you're making $5,000 a month. If I said to you, I'm going to give you 50% more of what you're currently making, Every month, I'm going to add $2,500 to your salary right now. You would say, hell yes. And here's the thing. You don't have to do anything else. You don't even have to work harder. Actually, I'm going to take some of the work away from you and pay you $2,500. That is the equivalent of having a man pay half and contribute to the running of the house. So many of you have been told that you have to take care of a man. You have to cook and clean for him. You don't want any struggle, love. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something right now. and I want you to just absorb it deep. You can either have struggle, love or struggle, life. Which one do you prefer? Struggle, love or struggle, life? Because you're currently having a struggle life and you're paying 100% of your freaking bills. You're stressed every single month because you're having to decide whether you're going to pay the rent, buy some food, extra food, pay off that credit card bill. You're constantly juggling the student loan debt, the payment of the credit card, the rent, your car loan, your insurance, your feminine products, your groceries, Everything has to be juggled. Are you on track for payments for your large expenses? Yes or no? No. My HDB is around 300000 And for my school loan, I'm left with 15000 And it will just uh, cut down automatically in my credit card. You are paying off your student loan using your credit card? Yes. Okay. And do you pay on time for your credit card? Yes, but there are some days we are missed. Do you manage to save? Um, if I were to ask you to be honest with yourself, what do you think is the main reason why you haven't been able to save as much as you want to? There are some things which I feel like I'm distracted by and peer pressure, like your friends having the same makeup product, the same bag, and you kind of like feel like you missed out. Online doesn't really help because everyone is promoting everything. They're making it too easy. Yeah, and it's like tempting for you to shop more and get more <laughs> foundations in the same shape. You know what I'm hearing, girl? The online shopping. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an addiction, I would say. The unnecessary spendings because there are extra things that 
I would feel good after spending it. Give me an example of a very expensive, unnecessary item <laughs> that made you feel good. Usually high-end makeup, around $300. How often do you do that? To plonk down $300 for makeup, for example? Um, I will try not to make it every month, but it's becoming to be an every month thing. I think it's fair to say that Honey spends almost all of her take-home pay. Every month, she also puts at least $900 on her credit card on shopping and eating out. And I'm saying to you, look, get with a man. Yes, he's struggling, you're struggling. Both of you combine struggles, it's easier. You have been told this stupid lie that, oh, I don't want no struggle love. If he ain't paying 100% of the bills, I don't want shit. That is the dumbest thing you've ever, ever been told. What is a man going to come in and pay 100% of the bills for? What benefit will he get? Men aren't stupid. You think some dried up banana is going to do it? Or even if it's wet, so what? He can go out on the street and buy some banana for $20, for Christ's sake. You women just don't get it. Let's continue, because I know you're not listening to me. I'm hoping you listen to her. And there are so many women out there who are struggling so hard doing it all on their own that now they actually want somebody to go 50-50 with them. We have to stop. Your empowerment has been a lie. Everything has been a lie. They convinced you that during COVID, they convinced you just during time period that you were empowered as a woman but you have always needed men always i'm sorry if people didn't teach you how to count i'm sorry if you didn't learn how to count of how much men contribute to your daily life but i'm here to help you be able to count because i love you I love you so much. So I want you to know how to count. So you know how to treat people better. And honestly, for most of us, it is way too late. It is way too late. We are too old. We are too set in our ways. We are too a lot of things, a lot of us. If the shoe doesn't fit, don't wear it. But it fits for most of us. It is a one size fits all for most of us. Us women have been entitled, we've been brats, we've been nasty. That's why I say if someone in 2024 still wants to wife you, still wants to be with you, still wants to pursue you, you need to be thankful. Why? Because it is hard out here. Listen, I can tell you without a doubt, maybe 15, 20% of you ladies are doing just fine on your own financially financially. Out of that 15-20%, probably 10% of you are enjoying a great life with a good partner. Okay? The other 10% of you that have found financial freedom, you can't find a man to match or be better than you. Because those men don't want a woman who has spent all of her life building her career. And then when she hits 40, because that's the time you're going to take to get rich. Now he has a rich 40-year-old woman who has an attitude like a man. Most men don't want that. Who are, who are making more money than you? It's the same old story, my friends. That man wants a younger, more compliant model of you. He knows that her money is not his money. So that's why you are useless to him. Absolutely useless to him. You understand? Women don't give men money. So that's why men find you useless, regardless of how much money you have. So what happens? You end up with money but no man. You just I've done a story on this, but the Chinese women who are ultra successful and can't find a man, it's the same shit, okay? So that means if 20% of you are financially okay, guess what percentage of you are not okay? It is the 80%, eight, zero. And you know why it's easy to determine that figure? Because 80% of the consumer debt is held by women, 80%. That means a hell of a lot of you have racked up a lot of debt. And I can tell you, as a man who don't have one dime of debt and just existing on a great six-figure income, I still find it freaking challenging sometimes. So I can imagine a woman with debt who's not making six figures, who's trying to live a life that have been lied to, Oh, you can take your trips and you can you can live in this area and you can buy this 
this bag and this bag and you can do this. You're screwed financially. You're screwed because I know the numbers. I've lived the numbers before. And it is impossible for a woman to survive on her own without going bankrupt eventually. You can, you can draw out the credit. You can kick that can down the road. But I can assure you, by the time you hit your late 30s, 40s, and 50s, and that debt has accumulated, especially that student loan debt, the mortgage, et cetera, et cetera, and you're tired, <laughs> Ooh, that only fans has ran out because nobody wants to look at some 40-year-old coochie. And you didn't save any of that money. You've been playing and living it up. All of you are going to come to a serious, serious realization that life isn't a bed of roses, especially as you get older. Let this young lady finish bringing it home. It is harder than it's ever been. And we have diminished our value the lowest that it's ever been. The woman's value in 2024 is so low. It's so low. And we did it. We are self-destructing. We literally decrease our value. We all know that female parts are to make the world go around. Guess what? Guess what woman empowerment did? Brought down the value in the stock of female parts because guess what? You can go get sex for $20 if you want to. Heck, you can get it for five. You can get it for free. You can get it for nothing. And then on top of that, we got a whole bunch of women on the internet giving quote unquote game about how to do this and how to do that. Don't you understand that the men see the same internet that we do? Like, it's not like, oh, women internet is a thing and then men internet is a thing. No. And on top of that, men study us more, way more than we stutter them because they actually want to understand us and they have had a long standing um, stance of trying to understand women way more than we have them. So they watch our stuff just like we do. Every man out there now knows the playbook. Women still think that they could fool men. They don't realize most men play chess. And I'm talking about the men that they want, not the little simps. Not the men that were born to single mothers who were brought up by their mama. Not those mama boys. Talking about the men that you want. Those men? No. They ain't falling for your bullshit. They will play you because they already know the rules of the game. I can assure you of that. Because you're all out there telling them how you're going to rip them off and how you're going to do foodie dates and how you're going to finesse him for this. Men will just play you. Bait you with a few dollars. Bait you with a little freaking meal here and there. Hit that and get the hell out. Women are just really, really naive to the fact that the power of the P isn't as powerful as it used to be. It used to be a mystery. It used to be something special. But no, my friend, like she said, no, it's too cheap nowadays. Female empowerment, my body, my choice bullshit. That has literally made you ladies much more available to the men that you want. And even the men that you don't want. Pookies in the Ray Ray have torn that shit up and you literally are just left ragged out there in the streets. And then expecting somebody else to come and clean it up. After you found God or Allah, Brittany Renner. That story is coming up soon. Internet for a cheap book telling all the secrets game however you want to say it and then you're surprised that men don't want to spend money men don't want to go on a date yes guess what your sisters getting on the internet talking about what they do on a first date how they finesse this how they finesse that how they play this how they really don't like the nice guy and how the bad guy gets everything you're really talking like that on the same internet that these men see and then you want to complain that they don't want you they don't want you washed up baby mom they don't want any of that and you're surprised you really think that you can get on the internet and talk about how you play men and how you have four or five six kids and th even two even one and you get your man to, uh, or a man to do this, this and that for your kids. And you're surprised that men don't want to take care of other men's kids anymore. Like there has been so much of men excusing our nonsense and still dealing with us out of 
still wanting what we provide as women and for most for the most part for sex and now sex is so unvaluable that now we don't have any leverage all because of you and then you want to blame me and hate me and feel the way because i'm telling you i'm loving you by telling you i'm not hating you all of the hate and smoke that you have for me and more importantly that you have for men who have been keeping us afloat for she is warning you ladies and you're hating on her this is what happens to every single woman who steps out of line that's why it's important for me to highlight women like this because they are really trying you can hear the sincerity with this woman man so guys go over there support her support her channel this is another woman i would love to get on my channel so um, hopefully when she see this message that she'll reach out and we can get together and do a collaboration together because more and more women need to be highlighted in this respect because the women aren't listening to the men man and it's just causing a hell of a lot of problems in the dating market and actually trying to find a proper meet. So my friends, listen, I'm going to cut it off there. Go over to her channel, watch the rest of that. There's a bit more that she said, but I just thought I'd highlight her for today. All right, listen, give me a thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't. Of course, go over to askanolderman.com, book a session. Let me hear from you. Let's have a chat. And also join our membership system. It's free right now, so by all means, jump on in as I build it. And this will, sh this will just let me know that you're interested, so I'll be able to make more and more content. So, my friends, until next time, remember, whenever in doubt, always, always ask an older man. See you in the next one. Cheers.